Thank you for watching this video. My name is Sam Touré. Today's video actually is just a pair of two questions. First question is, who do you think a team or a driver you think the 2022 rule changes will advantage the most? And why? The second question is a fantasy question. If you had a choice to ask one question to a current driver, Formula One, current Formula One driver, or one in the past, what would the question be and why? I'm going to answer both questions and would love to hear what do you think and what would be your answer. First question is, who do you think a team or a driver the 2022 rule changes will advantage the most? A team or a driver or both? The reason why I ask the question is that I've been reading a whole lot about the rule changes and I've heard a lot about expert, experts about how challenging the rule changes of 2022 impose on, on teams. In particular, James from Mercedes had stated that this rule changes is the most challenging in Formula One history. That's pretty profound. But he also says that with the rule changes, with the new cars, comes cars that are heavier. We all know that heavier weight is not user-friendly to a race car. And he also lamented that because the lack of wind testing, wind tunnel testing, I'm sorry, is actually uh, is pretty much you learn as you go. And that could change whole lot about where you start and where you finish. Now, I just as latest yesterday, I read an article where he says he's glad, he's glad that the 22 rule, rule changes exist because he believes that these rule changes would prove positive to those who doubted Mercedes' success or who might have called it luck wrong. No one, in my opinion, would say such a profound statement. I paraphrase James for saying what, that, what he said. But he believes that all that doubted Mercedes or might have attributed Mercedes' victories as luck would be proven wrong by the consequences of the 2022 rule changes. That's my opinion. For that reason, I believe Mercedes feels extremely confident that they will actually come out on top. That's my answer to the first question. Would love to know what do you think about such a comment and what do you think, again, what team or what pair? Now, what I observe from what obviously Formula One has put forth the rule changes to provide a more entertaining racing, a closer racing. What I do know about just my experience from go-karting, closer racing requires a lot more driver fitness. It's a lot less time to be watching signs as you pass them being behind by five seconds or more. You are way more required to focus and to be way more mentally and physically fit. So I believe that driver fitness would be forever more important in 22, 2022 than ever before. Again, the second question was, my fantasy question is, if you had a chance to ask one driver on the current grid, or in the past, one question and one question only. What would the question be and why? My question is actually going to go to Lewis Hamilton. And that's because I play sport and I'm very competitive. I play sport in college and I'm, I hate it and I still do hate losing. So my question to Lewis Hamilton is, how were you able to, after Abu Dhabi, what had taken place in broad daylight, with Mass's decision, Mass, Michael Mass's decision, how were you able to calm yourself and still make it to the podium and still congratulate Max Verstappen and then before you walked out? I know Max Verstappen wouldn't have done it because we know, we've seen it. When Max felt like something was wrong, he was done wrong when he actually stepped off the podium as quick as possible. I don't believe Max Verstappen and his dad would have, would have, done what Lewis Hamilton and his dad has done by coming forward immediately and congratulate them. 
as the champion? That's the answers to my two questions. Would love to hear, always, what do you think and why? Thank you always for watching my video. God bless you.